How to fix distributed com event ID 10016 error on Windows 11. Method 1. Hide distributed com event ID 10016 from event viewer. Since event ID 10016 doesn't adversely affect functionality, you can choose to hide it from event viewer. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. Type event VWR in run and click OK to open event viewer. In event viewer, navigate to Windows Logs System. In the Actions panel, click Create Custom View. Select the XML tab. Click Edit Query manually. Click Yes when prompted by Event Viewer. Copy and paste the XML filter query from our article linked in the video description. This query contains the values shown on the screen. All of them are recorded in the 10016 event logs. If you can't find the values, you won't be able to use this method and the XML query because it's specific to event ID 10016. Click OK. Click OK to save the filter. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Method 2. Delete values in Windows Registry. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type Reg Edit in Run and click OK. Before editing your Windows Registry, click File at the top left of the window and click Export. Choose where to save the file, name the file Registry Backup, and click Save. In the Registry Editor, navigate to HKey Local Machine Software Microsoft Olay Select the Olay key In the right pane, right-click the keys shown on the screen and click Delete Close the registry editor and restart your PC. Method 3. Enable DCOM permissions for a specific error. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type Event VWR in Run and click OK to open Event Viewer. In Event Viewer, navigate to Windows Logs System. Double click the distributed COM event ID 10016 error. The General tab contains the CLS ID and App ID, which you can use to identify the application or service that triggers event ID 10016. Highlight the CLS ID and hold down Ctrl plus C keys to copy the text to the clipboard. Then, move the Event Viewer window aside. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type Reg Edit in Run and click OK. In the Registry Editor, navigate to H key classes root CLS ID. 
Click edit in the menu bar and click find. Unmark the values and data checkboxes. Right click the text field and click paste. You will paste in the CLS ID copied from the event viewer. Click find next. Right click the relevant CLS ID and click permissions. In the permissions window, click advanced. In advanced security settings, click change. Click advanced. Click find now. Select administrators in the search results and click OK. Click OK. Mark the checkbox next to replace all child object permission entries with inheritable permission entries from this object and click apply. Click yes when prompted. Click OK when prompted. In advanced security settings, click OK. In the permissions window, select administrators. In the permissions for administrators section, mark the allow checkbox next to full control. Click apply and click OK. Return to the event viewer window. Highlight the relevant app ID and hold down Ctrl plus C keys to copy the text to the clipboard. Return to the Windows Registry Editor window. Navigate to HKey Local Machine, Software, Classes, CLS ID. Click edit in the menu bar and click find. Unmark the values and data checkboxes. Right click the text field and click paste. You will paste in the app ID copied from the event viewer. Click find next. Right click the relevant app ID and click permissions. In the permissions window, click advanced. In Advanced Security Settings, click Change. Click Advanced. Click Find Now. Select Administrators in the search results and click OK. Click OK. Mark the checkbox next to replace all child object permission entries with inheritable permission entries from this object and click apply. Click yes when prompted. In advanced security settings, click OK. In the permissions window, select administrators. In the permissions for administrators section, mark the allow checkbox next to full control. Click Apply and click OK. In the Registry Editor's right pane, find the default value. The data line contains the name of the application or service that will be relevant moving forward. Close the Windows Registry Editor. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type com, exp. .msc in Run and click OK. In Component Services, navigate to Computers, My Computer, DCOM Config. Find the application or service name you noted in the default values value data line of the app ID key. Right click the application or service and click Properties. Select the Security tab. Tick Customize and click Edit. Click Remove when prompted. Click Add. Click Advanced. Click Find Now. Select Administrators in the search results and click OK. 
click OK. In the Permissions window, select Administrators. In the Permissions for Administrators section, mark the Allow checkbox next to All Options. Click OK. Click Apply, and click OK. Restart your PC. Hopefully, this video provided you with the information you were looking for. If you're using a Windows computer, we suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner's real-time anti-malware scanner will stop malware from gaining a foothold on your PC. Anti-ransomware protection will protect your most precious files against being encrypted by ransomware. Combo Cleaner's web browsing protection will block scams, malicious websites, and downloads. Also, Combo Cleaner's duplicate file finder and big files finder will help you clean up your PC and save gigabytes of valuable disk space. Don't let malware wreak havoc on your computer. Download Combo Cleaner today. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel.